It's day 294. Oh, the 29th year and beyond. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about is, how do you avoid from losing your identity when you're in a marriage? And what I mean by that is, sometimes uh, a spouse will take on the likes and the activities of their spouse may not be the things that they really enjoy, whatever, but they just kind of morph into being that other individual and taking on their things. Or uh, once children have entered in the picture, and this more times than not uh, really falls upon women, where they're so wrapped up in being a mom, mm -hmm. right? And everything and all their uh, effort, energy, focus, time, everything is focused on the children. And then once the children are up and out, then they're just kind of like lost. And it's just like, who am I? So how do you avoid losing your identity? Well, that was a, that's a tough one. Um, because I know for me, um, one of the biggest challenges was when you became a pastor. And, you know, trying to make sure that, you know, I was, I guess, pastoral wife-like. <laughs> you know. Really? It, <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, but... <laughs> But I know what you mean about being a mother as well. Um, it's just challenging. I mean, but you have to know who you are first and then you have to stand on that, you know, because otherwise you can easily get roped into what someone else's likes or dislikes are. And if you don't vocalize how you feel about things, um, yeah, easily you can be sort of wrapped up. Well, even that. with the pastor, you know, spouse piece, um, one of the things I constantly told you is mm -hmm. be authentically who yes. you are. Don't you play did. into what other people thought you should be. You know, because a lot of people have an idea of what a pastor is and mm -hmm. what he should do or she should do and what pastor spouse should be right. and should do. And traditionally, mm -hmm. you know, pastors were men mm -hmm. traditionally. And so... Uh, many times people thought that the pastor's wife should teach Sunday school yes. and, you I know, that. And, and be the music, <laughs> you know, the musician for the children's choir and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> but one of the things I constantly told you from the very beginning is be authentically who you are. Now, not like I really had to share that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to be clear that I didn't have any preconceived ideas of what that should look live like because you had to be authentically you right. and but I also didn't want you to take on the pressure from a congregation or anybody else trying to manipulate you mm -hmm. or uh, coerce you into being something mm -hmm. but you know take the pastoral element out mm -hmm. again many times uh, spouses tend to kind of morph it could be on either half. Yeah. You know. Because I think a lot of times it gets down to pleasing and wanting to please the other person. Right. And then, so if you like to do this, then I'll like to do that. Or I'll learn to like to do that. But the only problem with that is if it's something that you really detest doing, eventually it's going to rear its ugly head. Absolutely. But again, you know, it gets back to the coming to America scene. You <laughs> I know. like what you like. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like? Whatever you like. <laughs> no, I know what I like. What do you like? <laughs> Whatever you like. I mean, and, and nobody... I don't believe mm -hmm. anybody that's really genuinely interested in having a love relationship. They don't want a carbon copy of themselves. They don't want somebody to just uh, mimic them, you know, taking it for us. Right. I was attracted to your beauty, your intellect, your strength, mm -hmm. your independence, the totality of who Gail Foster was mm -hmm. before you became Gail Downing. Uh, Foster Downing, do you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, and there it is. <laughs> um, so, you know, but I, I think that that's one of the challenges. Now, it wasn't a challenge, I don't think, so much for us mm -hmm. uh, with you. But uh, that does become a challenge for many, I believe, married couples where uh, one or either both kind of get lost, mm -hmm. lose their identities. And then what that does is also set up an opportunity for you to begin to drift because you don't really know who you are anymore. Right. And then, you know, if all your focus and energy and effort are raising the children. Okay, once the children, like, okay, they kick you to the curb because they will, then what? Then who are you? Exactly. Then what do you do? Yep, somebody that you don't know. So make certain that you maintain the integrity of who you are before you arrived in a relationship so you can be authentically who you are in the relationship and from my perspective that's the best way to have the greatest relationship agreed so until tomorrow do you know who you are <laughs> till tomorrow the lord says the same